Uh, where is the fucking sound settings, my dude? <laughs> what the fuck is this fucking noise? Why is it skipping like this? I'm gonna just apply the fucking shit out of this and see what happens. Yeah, I wanna keep this. <gasps> All the skipping went away. Oh my Jesus. What the fuck? Are these guys smarter than I thought they were? He's gonna take me to see a Fruit Loops bird. Don't tell me he's gonna be hanging upside down with all the skin off. Shit, bitch. Okay, so this body disappeared, and I'll fucking tell you right now, I hate that shit. In a game that this that is this old, they should have figured out a way. To, uh, to be able to register if my computer is smart enough and strong enough and fast enough to be able to keep the world decals like when I shoot this and all these like bullet holes that and they show that I've sh shot it they should stay there forever instead of disappearing like I don't have enough bullets probably to see if they disappear because I'm out of bullets now yeah yeah so they just disappeared like, it's not that big of a change in the world. Um, they, they should stay, and the body should fucking stay. That's just ridiculous. Blood decals all over in the world. But bodies disappearing before, before my very eyes, and uh, blood cleaning itself up, and bullet holes like healing. Uh, that's just a pet peeve of mine. Just really pisses me off. I really don't like that. Um, especially in this day and age, you know, we're fucking almost... Uh, 15 years, basically 15 years removed from when this game first debuted on the scene, fresh and brand new. I can't wait to try out Crisis. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm ProtoDead, and today I'm going to be trying out Crisis for the first time ever. I know, I missed this one. I think it's because I didn't have a computer at the time when this game came out, and I was mainly gaming on consoles, and it just didn't... it just didn't happen. There was a couple other games I missed, too, way back in the good old days, like... Uh, PlayStation exclusives like Black, I missed that one. Um, Halo exclusives on the Xbox, I missed all those. So anyway, I'm gonna go back and try Crisis, and we're gonna see how we uh, how we like it. So right now we probably got a little bit of trailer playing in the background as I'm loading up the game here and trying to make sure that I get everything set up the right way. <laughs> Please forgive any uh, grouchy voice that I might have this morning. This is early, early in the morning, and I might be coming down with a sickness. So. I'm going to try to keep it really Barry Manilow for you guys, or or is that Barry White? I can't remember which. Looks like the first time you fire up Crisis on Steam, you may have to install some anti-punk, anti-cheat, punk buster software stuff. Looks like it's hitting me with some GameSpy uh, framework, redistributable, whatever that means. Since this is an older game, there may be some extra stuff like this that needs to happen before the game will work properly. Um, recently I did Red Faction from way back in the good old days and I had uh, a, a, a rigmarole I had to jump through to uh, to get that game to play. I don't know what game Spy Comrade is. This, this may be some fucking straight up commie fucking bullshit spyware fucking Bitcoin miner on my GPU bullshit behind this fucking scenes raping me for all my fucking computing processing power. I don't fucking know. Oh god damn. Everything just went to shit. The fucking resolution went out the window. Oh, there's your first fucking marker of a problem, EA. Holy shit.
<clears throat> maximum game. Okay, maximum game. <clears throat> so Crytek is the same company affiliated with uh, Far Cry. So they both use the Cry engine. And I'm still trying to. Why is this skipping like this? <laughs> Did the Bitcoin miner? <laughs> Come on. This is only 2007. <clears throat> It is skipping like a son of a bitch. What the hell? Game, yes I want blood, yes I want subtitles. Almost thought it was gonna fucking iron out there for a second. Okay, game settings, you sure want- yeah, I wanna use these settings. Uh, where is the fucking sound settings, my dude? <laughs> what the fuck is this fucking noise why is it skipping like this voice over IP enable comms uh, suit with active mail uh, yes girl okay switch this to something that's a little bit more you know update oh my gee mini Christmas Mouse wheel does not work. You actually gotta click and drag this son of a bitch. Anti-aliasing on, please. Give me something. V-sync this motherfucker. Auto detect. Okay, cool, great, perfect. Advanced. Everything's set to high. Motion blur. I don't know, man. Maybe motion blur set fucking not so goddamn much. Maybe maybe motion blur on medium because this is a, a single player game, so it's it's supposed to just give us a graphic, you know, sense of speediness. Green HUD, Amber HUD, Blue HUD. Um, none of these are checks. I was just, what's it gonna be? I got no idea. <clears throat> I'm gonna just apply the fucking shit out of this and see what happens. Yeah, I wanna keep this. <gasps> All the skipping went away. Okay, so does that mean changing the resolution did the job? Because it was skipping like a cell. Oh, it didn't fucking change the resolution. You scumbag. You scumbag turd liquor. Dude, apply, you son of a bitch! Do I have to fucking run this in 1080p? What's the what's the deal, homie G? Yeah. Just stop skipping for fuck's sake. Okay, so 1080p resolution it seems to act it's it's acting a little bit normal, but yeah, so if I say I want to run it in 1440p, and I clicked off of the th the thing and clicked back, this said like 10 something. It was something different. It was like 16 by f fucking four. I don't know, man. Just whatever. Fucking forget it. Keyboard and mouse setup. We'll skip skip through all this for sure. This game's got leaning. How neat. All right, we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna see if maybe I got everything set up the right way. Hey, uh, highlight attackers, driver controlled gun, simple binoculars, enemies speak English. That's normal? What's hard? Normal binoculars, enemies speak English. Delta, no grenade warning, normal binoculars, enemies speak Korean. Holy shit. Okay, so that's interesting. So, like, the difficulty, can you... You can't, like, okay. So, you can change... The difficulty levels, like, uh, kind of handicap you in a bunch of interesting, different ways than what I'm normally used to seeing, because normally, when we talk about difficulty, we talk about enemies do more damage, en enemies have a bigger health pool, you have a smaller health pool, or your ammo and, and health pickups are 
um, less abundant throughout the map or whatever. But enemies speaking a different language, that's like some fucking Metal Gear Solid level difficulty shit. Okay. New game, n normal. How do I go? What do I what do I click on to make it go? Oh, start game right here. Here we go. Goddamn. We're gonna find out if it can run Crisis today. It would be nice if, you know, uh, this video ran smoothly. That sucked, kind of. Um, I'm sure on an old system that uh, was more appropriately built for the technology uh, that this game was built on, um, I'm sure that that cinematic looked good and ran smooth, but uh, for some reason on, on my hardware today, it looked like hammered elephant shit that was uh, pushed through a fucking rhinoceros's teeth. I don't, I don't know. I got no idea. I haven't had coffee this morning, but it's fucking terrible. It's really bad. Mmm. 2020. Holy shit. This is Dr. Helen over this... on the phone. The IAS research team stationed on the Lingshan Islands. We... Set in the future, but somehow also in the past. I know what they're dealing with. Dealing with Kim Jong Il. Snap into a Slim Jim, Kim Jong Il. Okay, this looks better. Command, this is Sky Chief, Red Angels 25, bearing east. We're getting some radar interference. Looks like an electrical storm brewing. That's a negative, Sky Chief. Nothing on our side. The skies are clear. Over. Roger, Command. Must be a malfunction. ETA to drop zone. Well, that was buttery smooth and looked pretty clear as well. Hey, Nomad, you still with us? Okay, yeah, baby. Listen up, gentlemen. Intel reports a significant military presence on the island. We have the element of surprise, so let's use it. The North Koreans can't know we're here. They won't even know what it's up. <laughs> Can it, Psycho? Pay attention. This is a covert operation. 
Our job is to locate and evacuate. We're not at war here. Not yet. Profit. Even know if these people Profit and Psycho. Out. That's what we're here to find out. We lost contact with Dr. Rosenthal a week ago when the Korean military locked down the island. Two days ago, we picked up a distress signal from the team's research vessel. Someone down there wants to be found. Raptor team, we're beginning approach. Stand by for free. All right, gear up. Masks on. Once we clear the plane, form up on me. Shoots on my mark. Green in five, four, three, two, one. Go, go, go! Do I get to take over at this point when I'm floating down, or I bet you not? <clears throat> Land at the LZ. Yeah. Oh, there's like. It's like water drops on the screen, like a water drop effect. Five by five. Go. What, what do I do? Oh damn! What was that? My shoot's gone. My damn shoot is gone. I've got no pain, no reserve. Keep it together, kid. You're over water. Suit should absorb the impact. No man. What's cool? I'm okay. I'm okay. My HUD scrambled. What the hell was that? I don't know, but you missed the LZ. Make your way to the beach. On my way. I guess I'm gonna go this way. Aztec. Profit, I made it to the <laughs> beach. You hit the water pretty hard. Some of your suit functions are offline. Let me run a quick diagnostic. The video feed is breaking up. We're gonna try to recalibrate. Energy. Okay. Right. The suit checks out. You're back online. Still no word from Aztec. No man. Rendezvous with Jester and head to Aztec's location. Check your objectives display. Um, tab. Oh, cool. Yeah, so far I'm kind of impressed with the uh, the the storytelling, like um, how we separated in the air. I kind of like that. That was cool. So we're in the Philippines, which is excellent. Still some stuttering going on. I don't know. I thought about maybe stopping and restarting my computer and seeing if that would make a difference. But since this, since the cinematic that was so shitty, um, it's all gotten a lot better. The water graphics don't look too bad. I mean, the jungle looks pretty good. The rocks look pretty good. So I gotta go under this rock thing up here. So far the movement and stuff, it all feels pretty good. Sidestepping is like the same speed as moving forward and maybe not back. Hey, what is that, a crab? Can it hurt me? I don't wanna shoot it. Okay, so here's a pistol. Like, the gun model looks pretty good. So we've got fisticuffs. If I want to get all pugilist on somebody. We've got bugs everywhere. So crouch. Hold X to go prone, or press X to go prone. Okay. F to pick up object. F. I can pick up a barrel. Hold F and then release to throw the object. Interesting. <clears throat> Did this, uh. Oh, wow. It didn't really make any noise, but hey, you know. What the hell are you. Oh, that's cool. He grabbed it a different, in a different way. 
break the bottle. Oh, that made a noise. Maybe it didn't. Maybe this didn't make a noise because it landed on sand. How come more games didn't do this shit? Holy fuck, man. Physics could use a little bit of work. Uh, I like that they're trying, but goddamn. Make sure your silencer's attached. How? I? Oh, wow, I see a lot of games now doing this, where you flip it, flip it on its side, and then take a look. Silencer rifle, no attachment. I'd like to switch that, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Tactical attachment? What is that? Sleep fire bullets with num six. Okay, I would like to have a reflex side on there too, please. Yes, thank you. Okay. Why didn't I have that shit to, to, to begin with? But I like how it introduced me to the uh to the uh the adaption uh adapter menu. So I can't turn, apparently, turn the flashlight or the laser on and off, but I can just turn it on in this menu. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. I mean, 2007 console. Okay. What do I do? Do I shoot him in the head or what? Mouse one to fire a weapon, so... <clears throat> Um, the game is basically, the game is basically telling me I need to shoot this guy by telling me that it's time to test out the, the, the weapon, you know what I'm saying? So, since this guy appears to be alone-ish, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh no, what have I done? Did they see the laser sight? What happened just then? Oh my Jesus. What the fuck? Are these guys smarter than I thought they were? Uh, this was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, well, I guess I didn't really take that much damage. Still some stuttering going on. I'm actually kind of nervous about this. Fuck that crab. And fuck that crab. I got a lot of bullets, man. Haha. Uh -huh. Got you through the rock, bitch. Um, so if I switch to the pistol and if I choose to take that gun, what happens? Do I drop my pistol? Is that what happened? No, I dropped my rifle. No, I didn't drop my rifle. I also now have an AK. 70, whatever it is, AK-97. And I can just switch to the f fucking parts that go on this gun? Like, that doesn't make sense. I don't know what this tactical attachment is. Oh, yeah, no, I do. It's the fucking sleepy bullets, isn't it? Reflex sight. Cool. And I just right-clicked, and that window went away. So that was neat. Take that ammo. Okay, so I can't shoot this guy again, even though his body's still chilling here. Um, also, uh, a lot of people talk about the destructibility in this game. Uh huh. So I didn't see any. Leaves falling like uh, tree limbs falling down. Maybe that's a mod people put on the game. Certainly not. <clears throat> a lot of people talk about the destructibility 
of the uh, the environment and shit in Crisis, and how come I just blew this tree up with bullets, nothing happened. So that's a little depressing. Um, yeah, a lot of the videos I saw is like you shoot it three or four times and where you hit it your bullets were like slicing the vegetation in half and dropping the vegetation, you know, off of the, uh, the flora. Hmm. Okay. Well, I need to boogie woogie woogie. The movement is very glidey, like in, in a good way. It feels like feels like uh, this is a soldier that has uh, a lot of a lot of strength and a lot of control and a lot of assistance. Come on, let's get to Aztec. Like the super suit. Profit. I'm not alone out here. What have you got, Aztec? DPA, four man patrol. Have you been compromised? Negative. But they're close. Wait. Aztec, talk to me! Mother is a Tizima! Aztec, sound off now! Not a little bar! Not a little bar! Not a little bar! Prophet, help me! No man, Jester, get to him now! Go! Go! I like that. That was cool. That's very like the predator, you know. Uh, what the fuck? How come I couldn't jump up like like he did? What is that? Is it aliens? Dark and spooky. Still some stuttering going on. Well, oh, dead people. Jesus. What the hell happened here? You hear that? I hear a kookaburra bird. A Fruit Loops bird. I don't like this man. He's gonna take He's gonna take me to see a Fruit Loops bird. Don't tell me he's gonna be hanging upside down with all of the skin off. alone out here. What have you got? KPA. Negative, sir. We got four dead Koreans, but there's no way Aztec killed them. Something else took these guys out. Tore their bodies up bad. All right. Pay your respects and move on. Rendezvous at the landing zone. What about Aztec, sir? We just gonna leave him hanging here? Negative. I'm gonna vaporize. We can't allow the Koreans to get their hands on that suit. Stand back. Didn't even check for a pulse. Damn. Just Apparently, if you die with the suit on, Nomad, move out to the LZ. Got it, boss. I'm you get cremated. What the hell was that? Okay. Oh. We can zoom in and zoom out the map. The map looks good. Come on, homie G-Dog. Oh, can I call you homie G-Dog? Come on. Let's do this. Space in strength mode. 
Strength jump. Well, how do I go into strength mode? Somebody tell me. Well, which mode is fucking which, dude? So I'm holding down my T button, I think. Okay. So I chose the right one. Maximum armor. Oh, that's stupid. Okay. Where's my suit power? Like. Hold on. I'm seeing movement ahead. Switch to cloak mode. Oh, also, Mouse 3 does the job. I don't see why you wouldn't be in fucking cloak mode just all the time as default. Okay. Where's my- oh, I see my energy, it's on the lower right. Okay. Fucking the shooting feels like shit though. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest about that. Yeah, um shooting feels like shit. Oh, I'm out of bullets in that gun. Oh I'm dead. Okay. Um the recoil does not feel good. Where is he? Why does it take that long to load? I want to know. Somebody tell me. Okay, we're going to try this again. So we're going to go maximum strength. Jumpity jump. Okay. Okay, so uh, that, that that encounter was a lot different than my last encounter, but uh, okay. So to pick up the ammunition from these guys, you actually have to look and take it. I like that a lot. Of course, I'm a simulatory type of guy myself. I mean, I do like me an arcade shooter every now and again, but I like the simulator shit, the simulator aspect of stuff uh, quite a bit, so... Um, I can appreciate that. I wish there was a toggle on the crouch myself. I do appreciate that there's a toggle on the sights, like aim down sights. Uh, let's see. I kind of wish the tab was a toggle. Um, it says, it said mouse wheel in and out earlier to be able to look at the map, but now I can't do that. So that's kind of weird. Uh-huh. It's, com it's like... just lost our concept to JSON. Our whole tactical display's down. The KPA must be using a GPS jam in your location. Find it and take it out. Copy, Prophet. I'm on is that, it. Is that the reason why I couldn't zoom in and out of my map? Okay. So, I gotta just continue to go this way. Um, at least on my compass in the lower left-hand corner, I can kind of see maybe where my objectives are. So, I'm guessing... The yellow uh, triangle icon is the disabled GPS jamming device. I mean, that's what it seems like it should be, right? But I've I've played games where none of that shit made any fucking sense before. But so so far, this game's feeling pretty good. Uh, I don't like the shooting um, recoil, the way the game feels when you're when you're doing the gunplay and stuff. But the models look good. The reload animations are okay. For instance. <clears throat> Real quick, we're going to do a test. Um, I'm going to hit re uh, reload, and I should reload my gun. Maybe it's, it's 40 in the magazine, but is my dude going to recock the action, even though we should have a bullet in the chamber? He doesn't. Holy shit, fuck. That's great. That was beautiful. I love that. Oh, this is cinematic. Use your binocs to tag him. Okay. B for binoculars, so just like Far Cry. That must be the jamming station. Ooh. Is 
So if I'm on them long enough, they automatically mark and then they're tracked on my map, just like in Far Cry, the first. And maybe the second one, too? Can't remember. Do not look my fucking direction, homie. Can I mark chickens? Where's the rest of these mofos at? These sons of bitches. Oh shit. Off the binoc. Maybe I should have. Yeah, see, dude, if there's a toggle crouch, I wouldn't have had a fucking problem with the binoc system just now. That kind of pisses me off. So, binocular. He's already been marked. I don't see anybody else. Okay. Bye. Oh shit, what's that noise about? Am I getting detected? Oh shit. Yeah. Fucked up. God damn it. Son of a bitch. So we're gonna go with maximum speed. Shit. I'm dead. Holy fuck. Okay, press fire to load now. I loaded the game successfully. What a super fucking good deal. We spotted KPA patrols down on the beach. Use your binocs to tag them before you run in line. I see a large transmitting array. That must be the jamming station. So this time we're going to try to take these fuckers out ultra silent style. I don't like the way that guy is just looking in my direction like already. What the hell? Okay, we're going to do this quick. And we're going to do this silent. Engaged. Oh shit. Maximum armor. I like it. What the fuck? Maybe I need to turn... God damn, maybe I need to turn the sensitivity down. Oh, I like that destruction. Look at that. I appreciate that. I blew his wheel out. Okay, he hit me a good one. That's fair. Totally fair. I like how he had to reload the gun. So as soon as you start firing, your dude like goes out of cloak mode, which is fine. That's fine. That guy knew where I was. 
I don't like that. Oh, I like how your dude like moves the gun out of the way if you're like too close to the wall. And you can't shoot, like I'm pressing left click right now, you can't shoot that way. When your gun is like raised up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, no shit. I found it. I mean, I, I fucking found it. What am I supposed to do? Am I fucking supposed to use it? Hey, I did it. I pressed use on it. Nah, I used the shit out of it. Okay, so we're gonna go for maximum armor right now. We already are maximum armor. Don't know why, but the uh, fucking game is stuttering again. Oh, I shot him in the head. I like that. I think I killed both of them. Okay, so this body disappeared, and I'll fucking tell you right now, I hate that shit. In a game that this that is this old, they should have figured out a way to uh, to be able to register if my computer is smart enough and strong enough and fast enough to be able to keep the world decals like when I shoot this and all these like bullet holes that uh, that stay in the world uh, and they show that I've sh shot it. They should stay there forever instead of disappearing. Like I don't have enough bullets probably to see if they disappear. Because I'm out of bullets now. Yeah. Yeah, so they just disappeared. Um, and that may be just an overtime thing. But, uh, yeah, so that one just... <sighs> Man, they should really stay. Like, it's not that big of a change in the world. Um, they, they should stay, and the body should fucking stay. That's just ridiculous. And I should be able to shoot them and, like, leave blood splatters and every everything else, blood decals all over in the world. Because that's the only thing that really, um, you know, that I can influence. Like, this this change here where this blew up and fell apart, this will change. And, and this will stay in the world like that until I influence it again. You know, maybe by uh, uh, bashing this thing like that. And that, that'll have to stay. It won't reassemble. It might reassemble whenever I leave the area and the area reloads, but hey, that's acceptable. I can accept that. But uh, but bodies disappearing before before my very eyes and uh, blood cleaning itself up and bullet holes like healing. Uh, that's just a pet peeve of mine. Just really pisses me off. I really don't like that. Um, especially in this day and age, you know, we're fucking almost uh, 15 years, basically 15 years removed from when this game first debuted on the scene, fresh and brand new. If I hadn't blown this, blown the shit out of this vehicle, I could probably jump into it and drive it around. But I think it's going to be kind of hard to drive around with a uh, with a fucked up tire. Another game stutter there. I don't know if that could be fixed by a couple of restarts or maybe. Oh, cool! So the tree finally, maybe the my. Maybe my regular everyday bullets just can't be shooting fauna flora down. Uh, no, that tree seemed to be like machine gun, like Matrix dodging all my machine gun bullets. Like it's fucking, this tree is like Neo right now that's just like fucking bullet time dodging all of my all of my rounds, but uh, I do like how I can slice some of these trees in half, that's cool. Except I sliced this tree in half just now and you know it's floating in the air. That's a little, uh, they called, it, back in back in my neck of the woods, they call this wiggity wiggity whack. <laughs> I guess somebody forgot to code in that that tree is supposed to have physics that makes it fall over, but you know, I, can't have everything. 2007. There we go. Apparently, this is the the part of the tree that's uh, that's actually not anchored to reality. Interesting. 
yeah, so this is uh, this is crisis. I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty stoked. Oh shit, what the fuck? I'm pretty stoked about uh, about this game. I might play it some more, but but uh, this has been my time with crisis so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and transition into reading the words of the developer. As you guys know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play. There's going to be some commentary in here, a part tutorial you learn as I learn as I play the game, and part first impressions, because a lot of these games I've never played before. And uh, you get to go through, step through all the problems that I step through, and, and hopefully we come out the other side learning a little bit. And kind of a part review, because I try to rehash a little bit of my opinions at the end of the piece. After we read the words of the developer, we can try to make a decision whether they're shoveling us a load of bullshit or if they're spot on honest and it seems to make a lot of sense with what they're trying to, uh, the product that they're trying to produce. And if you want to spend your hard earned money on it, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to give you an honest presentation of the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way we can make a sound judgment on it. So let's read the words of the developer. Crisis, adapt to survive. An epic story thrusts the players into an ever-changing environment, forcing them to adapt their tactics and approach to conquer battlefields ranging from newly frozen jungle to zero-gravity alien environments. Suit up, a high-tech nano suit allows the gamers to augment their abilities in real time on the battlefield. Players can choose to enhance their speed, strength, armor, and cloaking abilities to approach situations in creative tactical ways. Customize your weaponry. A huge arsenal of modular weaponry gives gamers unprecedented control over their playstyle. Blow the opposition away with the experimental weapons, discover alien technology, and utilize custom ammunition from incendiary tipped rounds to tactical munitions that can silently put foes to sleep. Lifelike enemy AI challenges players to assess the situation and approach it strategically. It isn't about having the fastest trigger finger. Players are challenged to be proactive in the fight, not reactive. Zero G gameplay. Battle horrifying alien species in a true zero gravity environment where physics change everything as the players must adapt to moving in a zero G and contending with the recoil of their weapons and more. Next-gen graphics, open physicalized world, create your own path in the world of Crisis. Um, yeah, man, I mean, I enjoyed it. It's cool, it's got a 91 score on Metacritic. Um, this game has most recent reviews of Mixed, and all the reviews, 12,500 and something on Steam, are mostly positive. This game came out in 2007, developed by Crytek and published by EA. And this, of course, is a first-person action, sci-fi, single-player, shooter, story-driven experience. Um, heralded as one of the, uh, the greats, everybody compares a lot of games back to this one. You know, the, the big meme, the big trope, uh, Can It Run Crisis. So this, this game is maybe not quite as... Uh, Maybe this game is not quite as prestigious as Half-Life 2, but it's definitely, it's a, it approaches Half-Life 2 in, in how much we reference, gamers reference back to this game. And I'm glad I finally got around to, uh, to checking it out. So it's been a pleasure. It's been cool. I agree with everything that they said here. Unfortunately, this game is not available on Steam anymore. Um, so you can buy it through uh, EA Play. Apparently, uh, Electronic Arts has their own st storefront, digital storefront, or they have some sort of uh, monthly subscriber. You can play it for free if you if you're an EA fucking I don't know. So apparently, the the contract or whatever ran out with Steam with Valve, and they can't you can't buy this game through Steam any longer. But I still have it on Steam because you know. I bought games a long, long time ago and never, and just am and, and just now getting around to playing them. So, um, this has been Crisis, and this has been Proto Dead, uh, playing Crisis for the first time. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It's just good. Two big thumbs up. Um, tell me, tell me what you think about Crisis in the comments below. Thank you guys. Bye.
thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. Helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.